Do you need some stocking stuffer ideas for a reptile keeper in your life? Keep watching because I'm about to give you 10 great ideas. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Zoe, but most people know me as ZA Reptiles. And we're going to go over 10 ideas for stocking stuffers for the reptile keeper in your life. So being that these are just stocking stuffers and not actually like the Christmas gifts. These are all going to be smaller items that are a little more inexpensive, but still very useful to reptile keepers. So number one on the list is Reptisafe. I feel like you can never have too much water conditioner. It's something that we use all the time. So it's always good to have backup of it. On the same concept of things you can never have too many of, tongs, like metal feeding tongs, because we are always losing them. So the more tongs, the merrier. You could literally put tongs in their stocking every year for the rest of their life. And they're still going to lose them, which is why you should put them in their stockings every year for the rest of their life. Next up are hand warmers. These are very helpful, especially if you live somewhere where the winters are kind of harsh and maybe you're at risk of losing electricity. It's good to have hand warmers on hand for emergencies to help keep your animals warm if your power ever goes out or if they're traveling with their animals. When I was in college, I'd come home all the time to visit or for skating competitions and Arcadius, my iguana, would always come with me. So I had to make sure that I had ways to keep him warm when we were traveling. And now as an educator with my own business, I'm always traveling with my animals to go to shows, schools, birthday parties. So having all of these different ways to help keep my animals warm while we're traveling is super important. So it's just a really good emergency item to have on hand. Now number four is probably the most expensive item on this list, but still relatively small and can fit in a stocking, and that's Rapashi. So I love using Rapashi with my animals. I love that Rapashi comes in a bunch of different flavors, but it's a little bit more on the expensive side compared to the other things I'm buying for my animals to eat. So I never buy it that often. Once in a great while, and then once in a great while will I make it as like a treat. Even though it could be more than a treat, it's just a little bit on the pricier end of foods. So it's really great if you can be gifted Rapashi, that way you don't actually have to buy it. Number five, this is if they have a legless lizard, a blue tongue skink, a tegu, canned snails. Now if you're not a reptile keeper yourself, I recommend just going and getting the reptile branded canned snails, I think it's from ZooMed, as opposed to trying to buy human grade snails and making sure that they are safe for the reptiles. It's easier just to go and buy the canned snails meant for reptiles, but their reptiles will love you. That's another thing that's like the reptiles love, but we never want to spend the money on it. So my blue tongue skink and my legless lizard would absolutely die if I had some canned snails in my stockings. So Logan and Piper, if you're watching this and um, you're still trying to find things to put in my stocking, a can of snails would be super cool. My siblings are doing my stocking this year. Kind of along the same lines, because while we're on food, we might as well just stay on food for another hot minute. If they have things like crested geckos, like gargoyle geckos, some rapashi would be super cool. And you can get them in just little packets, as opposed to the big bags, so you can just slide them right into a stocking. Number seven, I mentioned this one in my gift guide, which was the previous video, but I'm going to mention it here too, just kind of on a different purpose. I had mentioned grocery store gift cards to buy animal food. Again, that's a great stocking stuffer because that's something you can customize the amount of. Like you could literally put in like a $5 Walmart gift card into a stocking and that easily buys animal food for me for like two weeks. So Wegmans, Price Chopper, Walmart, anywhere that carries a wide variety of different greens that animals could eat. So collard greens, turnip greens, mustard greens, dandelion greens, anything like that a just small amount a gift card to that place so that they can go and get animal food is always super helpful number eight is a pack of temperature slash humidity gauges the ones that i use are what come to mind they're just these little black boxes that tell you both the humidity and the temperature and they come in various package sizes on amazon there's four packs i think i've gotten like a 10 pack but either way they're small they're useful and they fit into a stocking and now we're going to get into the last two items which are definitely meant for the reptile keeper and number nine gummy worms you know this is going to you know change based on who you are gifting to but 
gummy worms is kind of like a funny joke because you know like instead of giving worms to the reptiles you're giving worms to the reptile keeper uh -huh. Uh -huh. and me personally i prefer sour gummy worms so just know your audience whether they're normal gummy worms or sour gummy worms but it's just kind of like a fun haha -ha gift in a stocking because it's like reptile food for the reptile keeper if you know what i'm saying which leads me into number 10 this especially if they have a lot of animals like I do so we're talking like 10 animals or more which is pretty easy to do if you're a reptile keeper a lot of reptile keepers have a lot of animals in which case it takes a lot of time and energy to maintain that many animals and care for them so an energy drink of some kind find out what they like for energy drinks and put a can of that or a bottle of that in their stocking for me I'm very much into the Starbucks double shots and also Alani new so you know a can of that in my stocking I'm chugging that sucker while I'm cleaning enclosures and to help give me motivation to sit down and film. So things you wouldn't normally think of, but things that are in fact useful. <laughs> Can you think of more small inexpensive items that would be really great for a reptile keeper on their stocking? Leave them in the comments below. Don't forget I do have an Amazon kind of shopping guide to help you with buying for reptile keepers this year. I have that link in the description below as well on top of a ton of other affiliate links and just different links for different things to kind of give you ideas all the time, all year long. So Merry Hurtmas and we'll see you for the next video. Bye!